In today's video, we'll be looking at the NVIDIA Shield 2019 multimedia streaming device. Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks. The NVIDIA Shield has an NVIDIA Tegra X1 processor with 256 cores, supports Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital Plus, has 2 gigabytes of RAM, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, supports a micro SD card for expandable storage, has 802.11 AC dual band MIMO Wi-Fi, gigabit Ethernet, and a Bluetooth 5.0 module. Also supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, 4K HDR, and AI upscaling. We've got everything all set up here and you can see uh, this is the main menu. We've got uh, a game installation option. You can use your Netflix, go to YouTube. Uh, you can install basically all these apps ahead of time like you would normally expect. Like uh, some of these come with it, but I had to tell it to install YouTube and it gives you some other options. It uh, already has Amazon Music, Amazon Prime Video. Look at your photos and videos for your internal storage, that sort of thing. But I wanted to use this primarily, I mean, I guess I can watch YouTube on it, which is cool, but uh, for like, DLNA server I've got my server sitting upstairs my TNAS DLNA and this allows me to this program called DLNA channels which I had to install off the App Store uh, allows you to access any DLNA server you have installed already on your home network I have my TNAS so I'm gonna go into that go and look at my videos all videos <clears throat> which is now taking a moment to load but you can see I've got access to all my different videos I already have on here all right so there's Django Unchained so let's pause that so that should be I believe that the stock footage here is 1080p I installed VLC player on it also because I was trying to get it to access the DLNA server before I found that uh, DLNA channels program but uh, okay now there's a button on the remote which is um this one up here it's not focusing real well sorry but whatever it's like the one with three lines on it on the upper hand corner that enables or disables any ai settings that you've enabled so if i push it once you can see it says it's gone to basic and now it's a little blurrier if i push it again it says it's details high ai enhanced i don't know if you can tell the difference or not it's somewhat noticeable and things like the text maybe a little bit more let's see if i get a little closer and you can kind of see so this is enhanced, 
turning it off. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to tell. Uh, but then if I hold it down even, there's like a, you can do a before and after. Yeah, I don't know how well this is translating to the video, unfortunately. Uh, some videos it's been more obvious than others. You know, it's it's kind of a mixed bag. It depends on what resolution the content is to begin with and then how much you, like what level of AI enhancement you select. I'm gonna go back and show you guys that in the menu real quick. So you can go up to your, uh, but it even works on YouTube, which is cool. Uh, there you go, settings. And you go into uh, AI upscaling and you select your level of enhancement. So there's basic, which basically does nothing or little to nothing. Enhanced, which does some upscaling. Or AI enhanced, which utilizes something like DLSS from NVIDIA, which is, of course, it is DLSS. But it's, a, I don't know if this has tensor cores. It has a, a 256 core Tegra X1 chip, which maybe it has some of those are dedicated like tensor cores, like on a, a 2080 Ti has or not. I'm not 100% sure how that chip works. Uh, and then you can choose like the level of enhancement and then you have the demo mode which is like i said you push the little button with the three lines on it to choose between ai and basic so you can see uh you know how much of a difference it's making some videos it's worked on better like i say i watch actually some youtube videos where it worked and of course it doesn't work on 4k content because it's uh, that's the most it can upscale to is 4k so if the content is already 4k then you can't upscale beyond that with this device later on i'm sure there'll be you know 8, 8k upscaling devices available Anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions about how all this is set up or how this product works, please leave a comment in the question section below and I will be, or leave a question in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer that as soon as humanly possible. Also, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if you like the content. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2020. Thanks again for watching and have a great one. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.